it's alive. This is the last time I'm planning on pushing this thing. After today, never again. Ever! Machine Freaks and welcome to today's vlog. I'm really excited for today and I know a lot of you are too. I read the comments in yesterday's vlog. Woohoo! You guys are hyped. I'm hyped too. I mean, just look. Have you seen it? Just look at it. There were a couple of you that were kind of sketched out when I said there was going to be a lot of famous people in the passenger seat. And there was a lot of people that were like, oh yeah, there will be. This thing's going to put 3D machines on the map. I'm telling you. It's going to be awesome. Today we're going to fix the fuel issue. As you guys saw yesterday, I took the tank out. I'm going to stab that in today and get this thing rocking and rolling. filter installed I have the lines hooked up well not all the way to the carburetor but I have I have the lines from the gas tank to the fuel pump I want to see if the fuel pump will work and get all that crud that's in the fuel pump out if it does work It works! Man, I might not even need a line. That might be able to shoot right into the intake and we'll be all... S no, that sounds like fire. That has fire written all over it. There, I put a line on it. Now it'll go into my oil pan down there. I got your back, tree huggers. 3D machines, taking care of the environment one drop of gas at a time. That should be good. As you can probably recall from yesterday's vlog, the engine did fire, and I guess it did run. I mean, I just threw some gas down the carb, cranked it over, and it fired. That doesn't tell me how well it's going to run, but it does tell me that we have spark and we have air, and obviously we had fuel. I was dumping it right down its throat. But now that we have our fuel supply and our fuel pump working, I don't want to hook up the fuel line that goes from the fuel pump to the carburetor just yet. I may as well just tear down the carburetor, clean it out, see what's going on. Hopefully it's not in too bad a shape. Carburetor is installed on this sucker. Now it's battery time. It's not hitting me yet. Now this is the last thing I have to do before I have to turn the key to see if this thing runs. You have to be 100% honest with me. Do you think it's going to run? I personally think it's going to run. And I haven't fired it yet, I promise, I swear. You gotta tell me if you were right or wrong in the comment section below. Take two. Take three. I'm going to check out the plug and see what's going on. I'm not sure if that's the original fuel pump. And what's going through my mind is if that isn't the original fuel pump, is the is the fuel pump that's on it now throwing fuel into the carburetor and forcing its way into the engine and preventing the carburetor from doing its job. I'm sorry if you don't understand some of the things I'm saying, but the fuel pump is, is throwing fuel to the engine. The carburetor manages how much fuel goes into the engine. So if the fuel pump bypasses that carburetor and just throws it right into the engine, it could cause it to flood and then it won't start. That's what I think is happening. So I'm going to take the spark plug out. If it's wet, then it's flooded. If it's dry, then there isn't any fuel yet. The spark plug was moist. It wasn't soaked, and it didn't really smell like gas. I think it was from the fogging oil. Take however many it is. I just checked the spark plug. That doesn't count for anything. For you that had faith in me, 
you are correct. I just had to give it a little extra choke. I just put my hand on the intake and that kind of like <sighs> suffocates the engine and it makes fuel go into the engine. That's what it needed. Runs good. That, that knocking and stuff, that's the clutch. It's not the engine. And she's knocky. I'm a mess, please don't know that it can I'm a girl with a temper and I know I can be crazy. Here's the dealio. I want to drive this thing. I want to ride the hell out of this thing. The problem. The tires continue to go flat. And let's face it, this thing needs some makeup. And what I mean by that is it, it's cosmetically, it's, it's, do I have to really say it? I guess I don't really know why I got the chair out. I ended up taking care of the battery in a more professional manner. Got the key switch hooked up. Here's my makeshift choke for now. That's, that's the choke. This is the fuel pump. Just in case anybody ever wants to steal this thing. But I want to let you know, and also when I'm, you know, 50, 60 years old, I can look back at this and be like, hey, how did that thing work? I was crazy to buy that thing, this and that. Oh no, I remember. Right here. Now to tell you the truth, there's only a couple things that I have to do in order to ride this thing. Actually, I guess I don't have to do a single thing. I could ride it with four wheels. But I do want to ride it with five wheels because, let's face it, this thing's five wheels. This thing's awesome. Let's rock five wheels. With that being said, let's take care of this tire. One, two, skip a few, 99, 100. Yeah! Tip in the five wheel. Now, at one point, I'll probably get brand new tires, but not right now. This thing thought it was a four-wheeler. Silly gator. Anybody have the answer to my question? I'm thinking that's how it's supposed to be. Like if you have really heavy stuff, then both axles take it on. But for right now, it's just single. I don't know. That's why I asked, you know? For some reason, these things weigh a ton. They must be at least 70 pounds. it but maybe I want to explain it a little bit more. I don't want to put every single thing back on this machine just in case it doesn't ride like it should or like I anticipate it should. So we have all five tires, we have a running engine, we have a clean gas tank, we have a new fuel filter, battery is straddled down, we have our shifting knob, we're ready to rock and roll. My first passenger is probably going to get very muddy because there's no mud flap there. Sorry about that. But I mean, we did some serious work today. We got a lot done, and I'm happy to say that tomorrow is the day. We're going to take this thing out. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So what do you guys think? Should I wear a GoPro on my head, on my chest? Maybe get some wood shots? Maybe crawl some stuff? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see. I'll try to make it happen. I guess before I make any crazy promises, I should probably see if it goes backwards and forwards. <laughs> second. Can you see?
excited now. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. You gotta love the daily dose of 3D Machines. The 3D vlog, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me today. I, I sure, do I have to explain myself? It was amazing. Awesome, phenomenal, crazy, insane. Five wheels, five by four wheel drive, baby. Ready to rock. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow's vlog, I'll keep vlogging. We'll, we'll keep you in tune. Enjoy your day. 3D Machines out. Anybody else? No.